Hello, Core 3 Topics students. This is Marcos, and I'm sending you your week two recap for our second week of, of class. And I wanted to just give you an overview, a reminder of what we talked about, what you should be working on. I want to do it like nice and quickly so that uh, you're able to watch this and all your other videos you have to watch. So I don't want to be too long, but in case you need to be reminded, um, we are working on two different projects. We're working on our all topics video lectures. You should be watching the type form videos and doing the exercise. And we're also working on our project rebrand, creating a research presentation on our, our brand and a strategy presentation. So again, the type forms is the theme for the brand cross topics brand assignment. And uh, videos are on Canvas. We have three videos, two from Fred Shawgrass and one from Juliet Cesar. Please make sure to watch those and then participate in the exercise where you'll need to download. Um, the link is in the assignment on Canvas, but you'll need to download five PDFs of five different typeface specimens. Review those PDFs, check out those typefaces, get a sense of their nuances, their intricacies, what they kind of say or don't say. And then go to the Google Forms, which is on the Canvas assignment sheet as well, and uh, click on that link and you'll get this Google Forms. And basically you'll be, uh, asked to look at five different uh, famous pieces of architecture that we've created as humans and look at those um, in relationship to the five typefaces that you were exploring. And then with your understanding of how typography communicates and on your personal opinions of architecture and how that works, pair them up in a way that's interesting, that makes sense to you and write down those reasons on the form. Okay, so uh, for project two, we're creating a presentation deck of our brands that we are redesigning. And the idea here is to build a presentation that is uh, professional and demonstrates uh, your understanding of the brand, who their audience is, what their objectives are as a company or an organization, and to be able to talk back to us as your, uh, as your sort of clients. Uh, telling us what you understand about the brand and as your team members briefing us about this uh, brand that you're taking on so that we have a better understanding and we can um, help in our feedback with your design process. Uh, so the things that I want you to, to research and put together in a deck are the history of the brand. I want you to figure out what the current brand strategy is, what they're after, what they're trying to do, what they're trying to say, look at who their target audience is, create a biography of what that individual or types of individuals are in their target audience, look at their competitors, look at who's doing the same thing or similar things that they're doing and how they're doing it and list those and show those. And then after getting that understanding, I want you to come up with a, well, I want you to get an understanding of what their current personality is and then contrast that to what a new personality would convey. This will help you begin to think about what kind of strategy you want to do in terms of how you want to repurpose the brand while you're redesigning it. Think about what the how the brand can express itself better and do that through visual mood boards uh, and also through key adjectives that describe the brand. Um, and then also think about the target audience. It may be the same, or you may find that you want to expand it into a different way and want to reach different individuals and who they are. So just giving you a quick overview of the example we've been using in class, this Mac redesign project. Uh, again, make sure you create a template for your design that's going to um, be able to showcase uh, your project throughout the, the, the different phases of the of the work we'll be doing in the coming weeks. Uh, I'll be showing you another student's, uh, a current, a more current student's presentation after this uh, that showcases a better example of a, of a template. But here's uh, the cover page. Talk about the history of the brand, uh, bringing in photography about uh, how the brand was developed and who was responsible for it and just a, a little bit of the story of the brand say less on the on the sheet that you are on the page that you're presenting but no more than what's on there so you're able to talk further into what uh, the history is about uh, assess the strategy and come up with the idea of what is uh, the current strategy in here on, with mac it's talking about the idea of being more for stylists and trend centers and artists and being more this kind of edgy and accessible brand that's at the at more of an elite status level where it's used um, by makeup artists and uh, in, in um, photo shoots and film productions. Um, and then show who those artists are, those makeup artists and the work they do and how Mac is seen as a high-end professional brand. Um, and then look at who the competition is and talk about 
what competitors are out there and how they how they brand themselves, um, showcasing imagery of that. And then think about who, what their personality is like, how, how are they expressing themselves as a brand? How are people understanding what they're saying? Uh, how their packaging expresses that, how their identity as a logo or the graphic treatment or their social media uh, and begin to understand that and showcase that in photography. And then now they take the next step by thinking about what is it that is the opportunity for this brand? How can you uh, as a designer seek to create a new brand that's saying something new and different that's going towards a goal, that's going towards a vision of what the brand could be like? Is it about creating a new kind of audience? Has the brand outgrown its audience? Uh, are there new opportunities for younger people to begin to get uh, into this brand? With the case of Mac, it was about thinking about expanding the idea of a being just a, an elite professional brand into being more of a mainstream brand for everyday individuals and to expanding it to be more inclusive towards uh, consumers uh, who aren't um, models or runway um, models. So the new personality was about real people, everyday life. So showcase that idea in a simple way, but a clear way. Uh, thinking about the idea of making it more approachable and inclusive. And then um, that's basically where, where we want you to be is having a kind of a vision for what the brand is. And, um, but not going any further than that. The first step is to get us all on board with what you're thinking and, and look at this. So this is kind of an overview of like what you'll be making for Thursday's presentation. Uh, in Thursday's class and um, and just some of the details, you can find the assignment sheet in um, on Canvas and under assignments, branding process part two. Um, and also I made accessible on the Google Drive. You see here, there's a, on the main page of the core three topics, um, Google Drive that you're all linked to. Um, there's a resources folder in that resources folder. There's a folder called project rebrand research presentation examples. And in there are a set of examples of different PDFs of this exact assignment as done by other students. You can kind of get a view of what they've done. Um, so those are the two assignments. And next I want to um, just give you one more uh, review of a student's project. Um, where is it? Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is a, a redesign of the brand Trader Joe's. And um, it, this is, a, again, an example of kind of creating a, a design for a, uh, a presentation template that will be the presentation template that you continue to use throughout the course of this assignment over the coming weeks. You're going to build on this. So create a simple, uh, effective presentation that shows your kind of design sensibilities. That's nicely done. That's well designed, but also um, utilizes typography and colors in a minimal way so that you're showcasing the brand and not the um and not the full vision of your abilities as a, as a designer let's save that for the work you're doing um so with trader joe's we talk about the brand history uh talk about when it was launched um it was called something different i guess pronto market is what it used to be known at as and uh and then kind of take it further into the idea of you utilizing photography introducing us to your founder or founders and uh, knowing a little bit about how this became a successful uh, nationwide or maybe even global brand. Um, and then outlining what the current strategy is in kind of a simple way here. It's one, they were about high quality at low prices. Two, they were committed to this idea of creating private label products uh, that were um, within their store and that their store wasn't just a, a place for consigning different brands from different companies, but they wanted to do as much of uh, Trader Joe's a set of brands and, and products as possible. And then they were really about kind of taking their customer service level up to a higher level and, and being unique in, in the way you experience your shopping at Trader Joe's. So that was that's how the current brand strategy was looked at. And the target market was like singles, couples, small families um, with comparatively small package sizes. So it was about uh, targeting small families and then large families and bulk buyers uh were a different thing and it was more about like kind of like the the micro the micro group the micro family um and then the competitors um who do who do that more bulky thing could be places like meyer or fairway or walmart or even more close to them would be a competitor like whole foods that is kind of trying to 
be more up, a little more upscale, a little more customer service oriented, a little more quality oriented. And that's probably the closest competitor with these other ones being a little more, well, not fairway, but Meyer and Walmart being a little more mainstream. And then the cursor, the current personality is really a very distinct thing for Trader Joe's. They're very kind of like wacky and uh, joyful and they have a, a nostalgic kind of retro look to their graphic design, uh, really like kind of turning it up to the highest level and being very eccentric in the way they create their identity and their and their visuals and making this kind of welcoming um, environment that's kind of fun and, and cool. Um, at the same time, they're kind of, wackiness can become chaotic and can um, bring uh, an experience that could be good, but also could be a little bit uh, crowded um, and maybe addressing the idea of of, uh, of wanting to bring, you know, being so popular and having a lot of customers and, and looking at how that affects the, the way the brand is going to be positioned. Uh, so then looking at the new personality, it's about like really targeting and attracting a younger audience. Uh, looking at Trader Joe's customers has been being around for decades now and that I mean, people like me who've been grocery shopping for 30 years or however long, uh, you know, as, as an adult, you know, being um, being on, on the older side and recognizing that there's there not only millennials that are there, but now there's Gen Z and there's a whole new opportunity to um, reset towards a younger eyes and and uh, more ageless hearts, we'll say. And so attracting younger audiences, making it easier and faster, like getting away that, getting out of that chaos kind of reputation and keeping the joy, like not seeing that it's broken, like look liking the way that Trader Joe's, its aspirations are good. I just want to kind of clean it up and make it more personal. Um, so that's that's where we leave it. So we leave it kind of there, like it's a little bit of a cliffhanger. And this will be answered and we'll begin on, and next week we'll begin to de develop ideas of how this can be addressed. But for now, you're kind of just, you're, you're creating a teaser in a way. You're creating like, what, what, what is it I'm thinking about doing? And it could change. If you don't quite know, we can talk about it in class and it, it might, it might change. So don't feel like you're fixed, you're fixing yourself to something permanent. Okay. So that is where we are for this. I'm going to create, as I said in class, I'm going to create a separate video that will go through a case study of a, of a branding project that I did re, that I did with through my company to help give you a little more sense of branding outside of this assignment. It's not you're not going to see the exact same steps I'm showing you here, but you're going to see a similar approach to how to communicate with a consumer. I mean, with a client, so that they can best reach their consumer and be stronger brands. So, reach out if you have any questions and look for that second link for the case study that I'll be sharing with you soon. Thanks so much, everybody, and we will see you soon.